Do you have shoulder pain? Here's a video that claims to be able to cure 99% of shoulder pain. Let's see if we agree. It just looks like this. Dr. Kirsch, an orthopedic surgeon, has stated hanging can cure up to 99% of shoulder pain and wrote a book about it. And he did shoulder surgeries for a living. Simply grab onto something and allow your shoulders to relax and bear the load. Keeping your shoulders down is an active hang and we want a passive hang for this. If you're not strong enough to do this yet, then you can support yourself with your legs at first. Try to build up to three minutes of total hanging time a day. Take breaks in between. Hanging unfortunately doesn't work for all shoulder injuries. Consult your doctor for more details. He's a really likable guy. I think it's hard to have it both ways to say, this cures 99% of shoulder pain, Dr. Kirsch says, and then also have a disclaimer, this does not cure you know, <laughs> a lot of shoulder pain. It's a really good exercise to hang. I think it's a really good thing that people could be doing. That alone is quite clearly not going to be curing 99% of all shoulder pain, unless you subscribe to basically, it's sort of like Voltaire has this quote, he said, the art of medicine is entertaining patients while nature takes its course. Time certainly cures a lot of ailments, but if you're really having shoulder pain, hanging can be a helpful exercise to do. We would also encourage you to do some basic shoulder rehab, like strengthening the rhomboids, doing some rotator cuff exercises, and we'll have a, a, a link here that you can follow. Yeah, you'll take a, take a look exercises. at some one corner of the, yeah, of the somewhere, screen. Somewhere on the screen, there'll be a, 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 yeah. a way to get to the video where there are specific instructions and more details. But the idea is this, this opens up your shoulder, which is very important. This provides you with better shoulder blade motion, which is very important. But if you have shoulder instability because you had a shoulder dislocation, you have because you have laxity of the ligaments, this is not the way to start because you no. have full thickness rotator cuff tear and you, I yes mean, yes yeah. so if you don't if you cannot stabilize your shoulder then this is not a good way to start not to say that this isn't a good exercise to do later but you want to sequentially improve your shoulder which means that sometimes you need more stability before you create more motion and so addressing something with one thing cures all like a panacea yeah. it does not work yeah. so it's a good rule of thumb it's a if you're having a little bit of shoulder pain and you want to try some hanging I think that's okay. If yeah. you're having pain when you do it or with any of the exercises in the link that we'll have somewhere around here, you should stop and talk to a doctor and get an actual diagnosis. And just as a by the by, hanging for people in general, as long as it doesn't, you don't have pain when you do it, can just be a good exercise to help, uh, help stretch you out. Stretch you out, uh, grip strength, which is yeah. very, very important in longevity. So just be careful. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.